welcome to a brand new edition, a brand new name this year, Coach. No longer Coach's Corner. This is called Jirene Nation. Hi, I'm Will Hampton along with Coach Joe Patterson. Joe, nice to see you for another brand new season of Jirene football. Exciting times. Yeah. New scoreboard, you can see it behind us. That's something that is one of the several new things that people will see when they come back to campus. Yeah, no, certainly we're excited what that's going to mean for the game day experience. Uh, we'll be able to have replays, have all the graphics that you'd expect at a college football game. So that's going to be great. And, of course, off camera we have our new locker room facility, and the team's really excited about that. Yeah. Uh, when you think about what these players have been through and the perseverance of this program, you just got you got to love your uh, your not just the football players, but love all the athletes here at Ave even more. Yeah, no, I mean, it's going on three years without running water, uh, it's nice to be where we are right now. Yeah, let's talk a little football. This this week, you guys open the season on the road in Michigan against Lawrence Tech. Um, is your team prepared? What kinds of things? What has the path been like to get ready for this opening night? Well, certainly, game one is. Uh, really about poise. It's really about knowing what to do and how to do it. Uh, and we have some familiarity with this team. Uh, it was one of our uh, most exciting games last year. We ended up winning by one point down here. Uh, if you recall, that was down to the very last, very last second, to be honest. Uh, and last year we came out slow in that game. Uh, our defense really bailed us out with a couple takeaways deep in our own territory. Otherwise, we could have easily been down 27 nothing to start the season. But we were only down two touchdowns, and we were able to come back. Uh, thanks to, I think we went for it on fourth down seven times, oh, and wow. we uh, converted five of those. Uh, and then we had a, a blocked extra point, a blocked field goal to keep us in the game, and, and stopped them twice on two-point conversions. So it was a game of great plays and, and taking advantage of opportunities, but we definitely want to start fast this year. How, how many of their team, much of their team is back you think from last year? Uh, it's, it's, it's a very similar team as are we. Yeah. Your team, uh, I know this is our show. It's called Jiree Nation, so we don't show too many of our cards here. But what are you seeing as far as your players, your positions? Uh, I, I imagine Drew Leger is still at quarterback, but you might do some different things there. Can you give us a little insight without saying too much? <laughs> well, I, I will say that the, the players elected their captains, uh, and they were named this morning. Uh, offensively, you mentioned Drew Leger. He's the man that the offense goes through. He was freshman of the year for the conference last year. Uh, and then on defense, Shane O'Brien coming back for his, his fifth year, pursuing his MBA right now. Uh, he's been a very productive player for us for these last several years and just brings a great energy to the, to the defense. And I was talking to Coach Gilmore, associate head coach, and also the defensive coordinator. Do I have his title right? Indeed. Okay. He was so excited. I saw him maybe, I don't know, it's been three weeks ago or so. And he said, Will, are you believing this? I've got five fifth-year seniors starting on defense. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, certainly it's great to have that maturity. Uh, I think we all agree it's been the best camp that we've had. I've been here now going on eight years, and uh, just a, a team that really, really works hard and, and knows how to coach one another up. I, I know it's one thing I've noticed with your team. There's such a bond, such a camaraderie. Football sort of lends itself to that. Really, all of athletics lends itself to that, that, that camaraderie and that friendship and that love for each other you really see it out here in the football field don't you yeah no there's no doubt uh, i think that's one of the reasons why so many people are attracted to the sport you have so many people with so many different skills coming together but the one thing that unites is they're all in this grind together yeah. well let's hear from some of them some of the gyrenes they're getting ready to take the field this saturday night i played a lot of games there and to be able to play there again is a special thing i think especially it, it helps me realize that like this is the right place for me and you know the, the odds of that are just crazy but I mean I'm excited to be back on that field and be playing in front of my people I know again and yeah. We just gotta start off fast as we usually do just catch execute we're gonna make some mistakes but just gotta have a short memory get ready for the next play then come out of halftime we always gotta have that extra push we gotta be coming out blazing like as if it was the first quarter so we just gotta keep going keep being fast don't let up you know, we're putting in a new game plan, and it's our first time running some plays um, and getting a look at the defense that we're expecting. Um, so we just got to get better in the next couple of days, um, start executing a little bit more. Most of us, we've been together for three years now as a group, and I feel like the whole team, the O-line has the best chemistry. We're always with each other, always hanging out with each other. 
and this week we have a physical game, so we just got to start hard, play fast. We're smaller old linemen, so we get better than everybody else because we're faster. We don't get tired as fast. So this year, this weekend, we're going to play, use our advantages to our benefit, play fast, physical, and just keep moving on the ball. All gas, no brakes. We have some dogs up front. Um, they're just, you can trust what they're going to do at all times. They're always making calls, making adjustments, and that's so much easier on the quarterback for when you call a play and you don't have to worry about what the, the line's doing up front because you trust what they're doing and it makes your job so much easier. When we played Lawrence Tech, they're physical, so yeah, this is a way, good way to start the game, set the tempo for the season with a physical game. We can just keep it, get on, improving on that throughout the season. I'm just expecting a, a physical game, you know. These guys, you know, they lost to us last year, so they definitely have their have our number. You know, they've been thinking about this game for a while, so we just got to come prepared. You know, they they lost last week, but that shouldn't affect our uh, mindset going in. You know, this is still a good team, so we just got to be well prepared for that. I'm gonna play my best like I always do and try to show out. You know, I want to be the best I can for this team, and I expect the same from them. Everybody just know what to do. Everybody executes. We got Josh Jenkins. He know we gonna bring that intensity and that work in. Ramon Newkirk, he plays everywhere too, so he, he's an athlete as well. We got Allen, newcomer, he know what to do. Me, obviously, I, I'm playing everywhere. Then we got our backups too, Klusik, Chu, Thomas, all the guys, we're just all one. That's how we play, play all as one. How good can this defense be? The sky's the limit, you know. Uh, we, we'll see Saturday, you know. I think if we all gel, we all do our assignments, I think it's going to be pretty hard to stop. It's a special thing we get to do. You know, every day we're out here playing for a greater reason. You know, we're out here for a reason, and God put us here. And uh, representing our ladies, just it's, it's a special thing for sure. So as you can see, just a lot of great guys who are excited to play this game and, and ready to go this Saturday night. Coach, you also uh, uh, some few a few changes with your coaching staff. Yeah, so we brought in three new full-time coaches this year. Two on the defensive side of the ball, one on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, we were able to get Matt Milhouse to come in to work with our secondary. He was co-defensive coordinator at St. Francis up in Indiana. They've had several national run, national total runs. Really excited to have him on board. And then Willie Tillman's going to work with our linebackers. Uh, most recently, he was a head coach in the NAI, so he brings tremendous experience with him. Uh, he'll also be our director of football operations. So. Uh, he's key to all that we're doing. And then on, on offense, Tommy Streeter coming in as our wide receiver coach. It's his first coaching gig, but he's played on five different NFL rosters. Uh, so he brings that knowledge to it. And uh, all three of them have, have gelled with the, with the team and with the players very well. Well, all three of them have instant credibility with the player. Did, did you sense that and feel that? Well, certainly there, there is that instant credibility, but then uh, more important than that, I think, is just the trust that they are able to build so quickly because it's, it's clear that they really do care about the players. Yeah. We, we, of course, did mention Jarvis McGarrah. Coach here has been here, what, seven years, I think, now, something like that. Um, but he had an interesting summer, to say the least, didn't he? Yeah, over at the end of the spring semester, uh, he went with Father Joseph over to Uganda to participate in a mission trip with several of our students. and. Uh, the stories he tells, uh, absolutely uh, uh, incredible. Well, you're about to hear some of them as we take a break. Our first break here on Jiree Nation. Get ready for a nice look at Father Joseph and Jarvis. Ave Rides came from the need that Ave Maria is lacking, transportation in and out. I know that it's a big need that needs to be filled, and I try to take that in my own hand. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Subban Hunt, founder and CEO of Ave Ride. If you want to come see the Jive play on this beautiful field, if you need a ride from the airport or to the airport, I'm your man. Give me a call at 703-307-7781. Ave Maria, let's ride. Ave, I think it's a, it's a community, not just the university, but the community as a whole, where we're really here to support one another. Um, and I think Pop Love very much takes that identity of wanting to be there and serve for others. Um, and I think that's also why we wanted to become a sponsorship for the University Athletics. We wanted to give something back to the university and to the community um, as something that can just be fun um, and exciting. It's a great ad to Ave, and I can't wait for other people to try it. 
talked about uh, Father Joseph and, and also Jarvis McGarrah. They, they went to Uganda back in May, I believe is when it was. Um, but I think we're going to see this story in just a second. But Father Joseph is a special man on this campus, isn't he? Yeah, no, I think, talk about credibility. Uh, the man lives the gospel in so many ways. He's just so present. And when he's with you and speaking to you and ministering to your needs, it's, it's as if you're the only person that he is aware of at that moment. Uh, and just, just so, so important. He, he did a great ministry to my father when he passed away earlier this year. And uh, he's, he's replicated that with just so many people. Well, let's take a look at Father Joseph's journey home. A journey of faith and love. Churches are pretty young, and Uganda is the size of Oregon State, but with 46 million people. And out of those 46 million people, uh, uh, close to 38% are Catholics. And they really, it's, uh, it's, it's a very lively church. The African people are uh, generally happy people. The source of that joy, community. The main work of a priest is evangelization. And of course, schools are the best places of spreading the gospel. With the help of the town of Ave Maria, Father Joseph established an orphanage and school for the kids of Uganda. In 2009, they had 216 students. Now it's grown to nearly 550 students. This past summer, Father Joseph led 10 Ave Maria University students on a mission trip to the school. Jiren football coach Jarvis McGarra was there every step of the way. It was breathtaking, you know, just to see the landscape and how uh, the kids and everybody was so nice. Um, it was it was life changing, to be honest with you. Yeah, it was so wonderful. The kids uh, uh, really loved him. He taught them football for the very first time. What we call football at home is what you call soccer here. But he introduced them to football, and they went crazy. And one other funny thing that we were there, you know, kids were. They were so happy to, you know, to, to see him and to know that, you know, they are person, person who look like him. But they were, some kids were wondering, why doesn't he speak our local language? <laughs> but they would call me Papa, because I guess the gray <laughs> hair. So I had my group of little boys that stuck next to me and they would teach me like little words. And, um, but it was, it was awesome, man. The friendship grew stronger, forming a deeper bond of brotherhood and united mission. Why the missionaries established schools at every church they established was for the sake of evangelization. So as a priest and having had a good education here at Ave Maria University, as a theologian, as a teacher, when I go back, I want to go and help my people understand who Christ is. I've grown up Baptist, uh, but since I've been here, uh, I've learned a lot about the Catholic faith. And then when you go over to um, Uganda and then you see um, the seminary and the priests, people that look like me, you know, and then it opens my eyes more about the Catholic faith and um, the direction of where I see myself going. I saw, you know, when we went to the elderly lady's house and you prayed, it made me think about my mom and my uh, Yes, I remember we went, uh, we did the house to house visitation and I saw how touched you were when we went to those old ladies, did the, I gave them the anointing of the sick, had their confessions and uh, I did, um, I gave them viaticum. It was such a, a blessing and how you hugged them uh, and how it was such a, a beautiful thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Father Joseph is back in Ave Maria now, celebrating Mass, Hallelujah. teaching, and evangelizing the Ave community with the same humility he showed when at graduation in May, he received a standing ovation as he was awarded his Ph.D. in theology. I was at first embarrassed by that, <laughs> but when I, I thought about it, you know, it's love. Uh, I, 
I prayed about it and um, thought how um, I love Ave and how Ave, Ave loves me. It was uh, such a beautiful moment. Thanks be to God. Yes, Father Joseph is loved, and he continues to change lives around the world. When I saw, you know, where you grew up at, and then I seen the remodeling. Yes. But to see where you come from, yes. to get your Ph.D., it made me so proud. I'm so grateful to Ave Maria for uh, the opportunity that they give us um, as, uh, uh, as priests and especially to me uh, being uh, able to be formed in such a good school to have a good education here so as to be able to go back and uh, evangelize to my people. And uh, yeah, I pray for God's blessings upon everyone. That standing ovation at graduation was very special, wasn't it? It was incredible. Uh, well deserved by Father Joseph. I think just a testimony of just how many people he's touched. Yeah. Thank you, Father Joseph, for all you do. And also for Coach McGarra, another very special guy. Well, we're going to take a break here on Gyrain Nation. When we come back, shifting gears, we're going to talk a little women's soccer. They have their first home game this Saturday here at Gyrain Field. Back with more Gyrain Nation after this. Welcome to Tropic Smoothie, uh, where students love to come and gather and uh, have a good time. We are proud sponsors of the University uh, Athletics Program for a long time. Uh, come in and see us. Hello and welcome back to Jiren Nation. I'm Will Hampton and hey, we're going to shift gears. We're going to take a little break from football and talk soccer, women's soccer in particular, and Coach Tyler Rosser. What's it mean? play at home in front of a home crowd that brings the energy. What's Absolutely. It? Well, it means a lot. And I think that the thing about our team is that they're so integrated into campus that they have friends on the team and they have a lot of friends off the team. And so it's beautiful to see those friends off the team come and support the team. And I think we have a great population of the students that comes out. Even we had a scrimmage on Saturday and it was loud as can be. And we had a scrimmage against the local club team last week on an evening. And it was very loud. So it means a lot. And I think just at Our Lady's University, getting that support out is really great. You have done such a marvelous job uh, integrating and really leading with faith. <laughs> faith first, Ave Maria, Our Lady. Uh, when did that happen? That that was that, is that just who you are? Well, I think, thank you. I think that uh, when I originally started coaching, for some reason, I think my faith and coaching were kind of in two separate boxes. And I was very focused on wins and losses, probably overly so. But in 2017, I was in prayer and I just realized that coaching can be so much more about not only helping them grow physically, but also spiritually and mentally and emotionally and socially and academically. And that was really when I started to do my best to integrate not only the faith, but making sure they're growing as whole human persons and not just soccer players. So I would say it's been about a six year journey and I'm still learning around. I mean, what an amazing coaching staff to learn beside and because we're all kind of in the same mission together. So. I'm still learning and it's a trial and error process, but what a gift to go to Ave where, to coach at Ave where you can do that. But it really starts with recruiting, right? Yes. You, you really focus on that kind of kid right away, don't you? Absolutely, yeah. I, I think that we're looking for the both and type of player here. We're looking for excellent soccer players and people who can thrive in a Jesus-centered environment. And so for us, it always has to be a both and type of player. Can't, can't go without talking a little soccer. How's your team going to be this year? What do you think? Yeah, I think we have some great freshmen coming in. That's what everybody's been saying, how impressed and pleased they are with the freshmen on and off the field. And I think it's early to say, I think right now what we're focused on is just competing and winning one game right, at a time. Tyler is simply a great man who runs a great program. Okay, we're going to take a break. When we come back, zoom in on Lawrence Tech, the keys to the game, next on Jiree Nation. Hi, I'm Alan with Agility Physical Therapy and Sports Performance. Our team is very blessed and excited to be partnered with Ave Maria University Athletics. We provide strength and conditioning and sport performance programming for many AMU teams. Ave on three, Ave on three, one, two, three. Ave! Check us out at improvemyagility.com. The next time you're in Ave, make sure to stop by and enjoy great food, 
great drinks, and good vibes. This is the place to be in Ave Maria, our small town, the Oasis Kitchen Lounge. Hi, this is Junior Lozano, owner of Lozano's Mexican restaurant in Ave Maria. Uh, we want to welcome you guys coming to Lozano's, the best uh, authentic Mexican food, Tex-Mex style, and we have the best drinks and margaritas in town. I'm Matt Williams, this is my wife Renee Williams. We're the owners of Oil Well Craft Beer out here in beautiful Ave Maria. Come on out and see us. Water boy, Mama said. Remember the Titans. The main event. Yeah. Remember the Titans. Yeah. Remember the Titans. Sandlot. Rudy. Coach Carter. The longest yard. Dodgeball. H two O. The water boy. Starstruck. If you know, you know. Saw, man. What? Airbud. What? Longest yard for sure. Invincible. Bench warmers, seen it a thousand times. Perfect. I would have to go Waterboy and Varsity Blues. Rudy, Rudy. Mm, Space Jam. That's old Happy cool, Gilmore. Right? That's mine. Remember the Titans. I just took what I was going to say. I got to say something different. Gridiron game. Water boy. Definitely the water boy. <laughs> water boy. It was the blind side. Definitely gridiron game. Friday Night Lights, plus the TV show. Best of all time. Perfect. 42. Definitely 42. When the game stands tall, yes sir. The bench warmer. It's got to be water boy. Welcome back to Tyreen Nation. A lot of very interesting answers there. It's a new segment. We're going to roll out from time to time, just kind of getting a, just a reaction to a question, and this one was, what is your favorite sports movie of all time? Coach, what's yours? <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to regret it once I think about it a little bit longer, but off the top of my head, I'm going with The Natural. Oh, that's uh, great. Yeah. Fantastic story of perseverance and people surprised and people with sports. Yeah. I have a lot, too. Of course, being from Indiana, I love the movie Hoosiers. But uh, I, I think I'm going to go with Field of Dreams. Uh, when Kevin Costner plays catch with his dad, I get a tear every single time because uh, it, it just talks about relationships between fathers and sons, and I, and I like that. So Let's zoom in on Lawrence Tech. Here we go. Uh, what do you think about this game? Give me some keys to victory if you could. Well, touched on at the beginning of the show, and that's really uh, keeping our poise and playing our football. Uh, week one is is always in a sense all bets off because it's the first time you've actually gone full speed against an opponent but at the same time we got to control everything we can control which is ourselves right so we got to play with great poise we don't want to put it in the hands of the officials and uh, got to match and then surpass physicality uh, we've had a very physical brand of football here and we just got to make sure we start the year right in that regard all right well, coach go get him Indeed. It's the Gyrenes of Ave Maria University at Lawrence Tech this Saturday night. You'll be able to see it on the live stream. Also, just real quickly on that, this year, watch us on our live stream. Join the Booster Club, please. Go on AveMariaGyrenes.com and get your season tickets because opening day, September 23rd, for home opener, it will be special. We're going to uh, salute the military and first responders. Coach, thank you. Thank you, Will. And thank you for watching. Jiree Nation.